All right, guys, here we go. We're going to take a look at uh, gold and silver real quick. And as you can see, we held to our guns uh, regarding these two uh, red dash lines here. We covered that in the last video. So if you didn't see it, I, well, I'll just go ahead and, and review it, how we knew the exact location uh, to go short gold here. And as you can see from the, the bottom one is from the daily chart. Everything you want to know about uh, future price action regarding you know support resistance etc is going to be on the left side of the chart okay uh we had a high pivot here um going back to, really to uh middle of april of last year and the further away uh you know double tops for example uh pivot zones even low pivot zones the further away they are believe it or not the stronger they are okay so that was one factor number two if we switch over to the weekly, because we use we try to use every tactical advantage we can on our side, uh, because all these markets are a big scam, and uh, you know everybody's playing each other and even against each other, uh, the corporations. So you got to you know there's no such thing as a fair playing field here. Then we have this high pivot here, going back to you know middle of March of, of last year. Okay, so I gave us two strong factors. If you do not have uh, two or more factors, two or more reasons for your thesis to either go long a, an asset, no matter if it goes silver, crypto, stocks, whatever, or to go short, then uh, your odds are a whole lot less, okay? If you have two strong um, factors, and we teach all that in our Patreon group and also in our uh, Micro Futures course below, but uh, yeah, it, it pulls your odds up, you know, 83, 87% uh, chance. Nothing, nothing's really 100%. Now, there are a couple of, you know, movements on the chart, moving averages, uh, price specific uh, price actions that are 100%. When, when this happens 100% of the time, uh, you know, X, Y, Z will happen, okay? So, uh, but that's, you know, in the course and stuff but anyway here we are on gold and uh everybody pumping gold not that gold's not going to go uh back up but there seems to be other areas that money's going to i don't know i'm not going to claim anything but it looks like you know there's some uh deliberate price movement here i do not own any gold i wouldn't you know own it i mean if you gave it to me i'd own it but, you know, I think gold and silver, to be honest with you, for the most part, just a huge multi-level marketing Ponzi scheme, okay? Because everybody out there that's preaching gloom and doom because negativity, bad news gets more what? Clicks, gets more action. You know, even the news, the nightly news knows that, you know, uh, the more it bleeds, the more people watch it. And uh, if you notice all the people you know, influence and stuff that are preaching gloom and doom, what's their ticket, okay? Buy go, buy silver, you know, before the, you know, world collapses. You gotta have your go, you gotta have your uh, silver. And I was sucked into that, uh, the end, well, 1998, 1990. Man, I wanna say I was buying gold uh, in the 200s, uh, uh, low 300s, and, got a you know buttload of it and uh you know i mean yeah it's gone up but like anything else you had to be in the right place right time i didn't i didn't know what i was doing you know i wasn't even trading stocks back then so anyway sometimes even the you know blind hog gets an acorn but anyway i haven't bought any since uh let's go to because you know we really don't know how much is out there when i started really studying that stuff we don't you know nobody's full disclosure you know, even the, our federal government does not give us full disclosure of really what they're holding, you know, where it's at or anything. Well, they don't have to tell us where it's at, Fort Knox, I guess, but wherever else. Uh, we don't know really how much gold is in the ground in the country. Uh, you know, a lot of people talk about the Grand Canyon, a lot of the national parks having gold, and that's why they make it a national park, so you're not allowed to go in there and mine it or whatever. So who knows? I mean, there could be, you know, less than what they're saying, you know, because of people, you know, in with jewelry and stuff, losing it or, 
or, uh, you know, getting lost, thrown away, whatever. You know, I just like people lose Bitcoin, I guess. But who knows? You know, I, I don't know how they can, you know, put a price on it. How, you know, I guess just whatever the, you know, the next sucker will buy it for, just like anything else, even housing and stuff. It's just, you know, whatever the next, you know, idiot will pay for it. And then here we are in silver. Now, silver, actually, you could use it for things, okay? I mean, that's, you know, it's an element, you know, it's an element on the per periodic chart that we're going to need. And, and uh, supposedly, uh, the uh, uh, Geological Survey for the U.S. government, they came out and stated that silver was going to be uh, the first element on the, on the periodic chart to disappear. So, yeah, maybe there's some upside to silver. And as you know, we've been playing this hands over fist, okay, to the long side or the short side. And then if you want, you can take your profit profits to the downside instead of crying about it. Short that thing to the downside. It's easier. That's very easy, simple to do. And then you take those profits, roll it into your physical silver that you keep in your uh, own possession, okay? So here we are. Let's go back to gold. Let me tell you something. So, um, yeah, we're looking, you know, at gold here and uh, where we might possibly pull back to. And as I see it, you know, we always, uh, price action always comes back into uh, your uh, 20. Okay. That's one of the things I talked about earlier you know, in the video that one of the 100% things is that price always comes back into that 20. It'll either consolidate sideways and allow the 20 to come up or, you know, keep rolling down and sideways allowing that 20 to come up. And that's right now, I don't want to be a buyer go, I want to be a seller of go until we get that 20 um, and the price action, you know, close closer together, okay? And uh, silver here, uh, pretty much the same deal. Now, I will tell you this little secret. Another 100% guaranteed uh, thing on the charts I'm sure nobody else is telling you about. When the 20 and the 200 come together, 100% of the time, not 99, 100%, that 20 will move either. Okay, there's two ways to it. you got to sit on your hands until you figure it out. Either to the upside, far and away from the 200, or to the downside because it's following price. So whenever price gets in and around the 200 and the 20, uh, it's going to blow up to the upside. As you saw, this is kind of a head fake here. They blew it down, but see the 20 didn't cross down. So it didn't, you know, confirm. But anyway, uh, consolidation a few days here, then they blew it to the upside and, uh, you know, took the shorts to the cleaners. And that's how we moved up this high, okay? And this was a significant price zone level that our Patreon members know about. That's why we went short here, uh, just a few bucks. And uh, we will, uh, you know, hold until we're, uh, until we uh, know that we need to go long, okay? All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience. And we will see you on the charts.